Hey Libra, how's it going? Welcome to your weekly love reading. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you guys so much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you. All right, guys. If you need a personal reading, feel free to get a hold of me. Everything you need to know to do so is in the description box to the video. You can also find me on other social media. I am everywhere under the same name. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. All right. And this one just fell on the floor from the door. So we'll take it. The lovers. Well then, Libra. Huh. What is up? Oh my goodness. Okay. Libra. You are coming in as the Nine of Swords and the Lovers. Maybe you have Gemini in your chart, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, but you've got anxiety, depression, over a connection, a soulmate connection. We have a ton of soulmates, so it, you know, it's whatever, but it's definitely, there's like extreme anxiety, you know, psychological issues, fears, whatever, over a connection. Obviously, that's why you're watching Love Reading, right? Let's see why this is. Could be over a Gemini. You could just be dealing with one. Page of Wands. Hmm. Ten of Swords. We go from the nine to the ten. Okay, so it, you feel like you have anxiety over this attraction. Um, either you're attracted to somebody, they're attracted to you. It might even be that you are too anxious to let somebody know that you're into them. Um, or somebody told you how they feel and, and this wouldn't be like some kind of expression of love or anything like that. It would just be like an attraction right now. Um, but for you, it's terrifying. It looks, it looks like you kind of know that if you take it there with this person, it's not going to be just a hookup and it's terrifying. Um, it's like there's something deeper there and you feel like if you take it there to that deeper level, you're gonna end up in this fucking 10 of swords, you know, tragedy, crisis. So you're at that nine of swords because you're terrified that getting in this connection, furthering this connection, whatever it is, is gonna put you in that horrible, sad place. Is it going to? I don't know, we'll check, but that's where your head's at. If this is your reading, that's where your head's at. Oh my gosh, on the floor again. Okay, the Four of Cups. So you're just like not even trying to take any action here. You're like, oh my gosh, I don't even want, I don't even want to respond to this person because this is stressing me out too bad. I'm just gonna sit here. I'm just gonna sit here and not do anything right now. Um, recent past, you have the King of Cups reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So. This is somebody in your past. I don't know if they're still lingering or if this is the same person that we're talking about now, but this person is like an emotional fucking shit show. This is like um, somebody who's very emotionally immature, unintelligent. I don't mean unintelligent in general, but like emotionally unintelligent, emotionally manipulative, codependent, you know, all that shit. Um... Now, in the present, you have the High Priestess Reverse. Please don't mind my nails. There's like five of them broken, and it's only been a week, so I don't know what the deal is, but I'm sorry they look disgusting. <laughs> All right, why is the High Priestess Reverse for you, Libra? Why are you ignoring your intuition? What is the deal? Two of Pentacles. There's a decision here that either you're trying to make or the person you're dealing with is, but you're not factoring your intuition into it. Three of Cups. Yeah, okay, so somebody could be juggling you and another person, and your intuition's trying to tell you, and you're not trying to hear it. 
um, or you could feel like should you deal with this person up here, this new person, that that's what's going to happen, that that's what they're going to do to you. Um, and, you know, if you're in that real anxious, real depressed, you know, fear mentality, you're probably blocking your intuition some and, you know, you're not necessarily hearing it because all that, those, you know, crazy making emotions are overpowering it. Two points again. I think there's definitely more than two people involved in a connection here. Could be somebody you met through friends or at some kind of a social gathering, but there's definitely like somebody's needing to make a decision between one person and another person. And it doesn't doesn't have to be like a cheating thing. It's just, you know, if we're dating a couple people, maybe we feel like we need to pick one or something. It's that. You could be trying to decide if you want to go to some kind of a party or a gathering where this person's going to be. Like, you know, they're into you and you know, they're going to be there and it might be kind of stressing you out. I will pull your energy with the different signs at the end too, guys. If you have, you know, somebody specific in mind and you know their sign. Your potential obstacle is the nine of wands. Nine of wands. This is about persevering. Um overcoming shit, you know, not giving up hope, but it's an obstacle. So let's see why. Four of Wands. I feel like there's somebody here that maybe hasn't given up on you yet. They're still trying because they still want to like settle down with you. They still look at you as a soulmate, um, like somebody that they want to fucking marry and shit and they haven't given up yet. And the Emperor reversed. Yeah. Um, Divine Masculine, but it's reversed. Can be an Aries as well. It doesn't have to be. It could be somebody who's like um, controlling, demanding, authoritative. And they kind of, it's like real codependent. Like they haven't given up on you because they look at you as their stability. Um, could even be somebody that like needs a freaking place to stay or something. It's like they feel very out of control if they don't have you. And that's a them problem. That's not a you problem. Your immediate future, you have the five of coins reversed. Again, with the somebody wanting to come out of the cold, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, somebody wants to um, come back. Why is the five of coins reverse here? Seven of cups reversed. You could have been dealing with somebody who dated a ton of people, you know, was just out talking to everybody. They might have let all of their options go for you. Like you might have just like cut them off because they were just dealing with so many people. They might have cut all of those people off and now they're trying to come back to you or will in the near future. It's like they had some kind of a realization. That's reversed, yeah, Scorpio. Um, Definitely somebody who wants to come back here. They've had some kind of a realization. They were confused before. They're not confused anymore. This could be you doing this too. This can go both ways. Um, your advice is the nine of cups. This is about following your heart, following your feelings, expressing your feelings. Um, you know, going out on dates, being romantic, being flirty, kind of really like putting yourself out there as far as your feelings. I don't see that happening in this situation, but that's your advice. So let's see why. And the 10 of pentacles. So it's almost like if you put yourself out there, if you actually express how you feel and feel your feelings, you know, be in them, um, not in a dramatic way, just 
it's kind of like not having fear of expressing yourself emotionally, of allowing yourself to feel a certain way. Um, it's going to lead to your Ten of Pentacles, that long-term commitment, you know, that stability. But in order to get to that place, you have to actually be open to it. And the Queen of Swords, which is funny because it's your energy. So that's just you being your whole self. But the thing with that, with the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Cups here, it's like, yeah, you can be logic minded. You can be, um, you know, matter of fact, like you are. You don't have to cut off your emotions. Just find the balance. You can stay, you know, in that energy of I'm not going to be stupid about my feelings. I'm not going to be stupid about this connection and try to keep yourself closed off. But that's not going to get you to where you ultimately want to be. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching a love reading. You know, you just wouldn't. Um, you have to allow yourself to be open. And that doesn't mean you have to be stupid about it. It doesn't mean you have to just go around you know, spewing feelings at everybody you come across either. Like, keep your brain with you. Okay, let's get you some oracles. What does Libra need to hear this week? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said before, I think that there's multiple people involved here. I think that it's not just two people. So, and again, with the intuition, your intuition is trying to tell you something. Maybe that somebody is juggling two people, but you're not trying to hear it. And I'm not sure why. All right, anyway. So I'm going to pull you an oracle truth from this deck. This is like if you have somebody in mind that say you guys aren't on speaking terms or maybe you are and they just don't tell you how they feel. This is what they would say to you if they could. So whoever's on your mind, Libra, just take a deep breath, focus on that person. What does this person have to say to Libra? What does this person have to say to Libra? I wish I had treated you better. Yeah, somebody does. Somebody's gonna try to come back if they're not already. I know that I crossed the line with you. All right, let's get you in the other signs, Libra. So majors you have here, you have Scorpio, Gemini, Aries. dealing with Aries. Attraction, um, sexed up, definitely new. There's definitely a lot of chemistry with you two. Libra dealing with Taurus. They might have had you in a third party thing or might currently or there's some issues where like maybe your family doesn't approve or theirs doesn't or your friends don't. Libra dealing with Gemini. There's a lot of love there. Um, they are emotionally available, emotionally mature, emotionally expressive. Libra dealing with cancer. Um, they could be feeling really low, like their confidence is low, their self-esteem, self-worth is low, and it could be showing up as controlling, demanding behavior. Libra dealing with Leo. Oh, so guys, you have all the power there to make whatever you want to happen, happen. 
whatever direction you want that to go, you can make it go that direction. Libra dealing with Virgo. They want a new beginning with you. They're ready to just jump right into whatever it is that you want here. Um, they're ready to take a risk and just do it. Libra dealing with Libra. They're either going to be confessing something to you or you're going to be catching them in some kind of lie or something. Libra dealing with Scorpio. You might have a Scorpio that you work with um, that's into you, you into them, whatever. But this is something that has long-term potential, but it is going to take a lot of work. Um, and it's going to maybe feel boring and repetitive. Libra dealing with Sagittarius. Somebody's getting dropped in that connection. I don't know if it's you, I don't know if it's them, or if it's somebody else that they're talking to, but somebody's getting dropped there. Libra dealing with Capricorn. They're very emotionally closed off right now, probably really focused on their money. Libra dealing with Aquarius. They have given up. Libra dealing with Pisces. They feel like they have unfinished business with you, like they didn't get some kind of closure. All right, you guys, take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today.